De flip-flop is a classical memory cell uh, used in computers, etc., etc., and it can remember one of the states to which it was switched. Here you see uh, the basics from flip-flop. It's in this leaflet from Philips, 70s, in the 70s. Very interesting. This is the basic circuit. And here we can see that um, one transistor is in conduction and the other blocks, or this one uh, blocks and the other is in conduction between the uh, collector and the emitter. And that depends depends on uh, the switch. So when we switch this one, uh, we get we bring the flip-flop to a certain state, and when we switch this one, we bring it back to another state. And I've made that circuit in real here, and I made it with uh, transistors. Of course, uh, there are flip-flop circuits with chips, but I think with two transistors or more, it's very interesting, and you can get the same results. This circuit that I've made, I want to show it first from a certain distance. And this circuit is in fact the same. Um, what I've changed in my circuit is, is that I've here used a potentiometer. And that means that we can set one of the two transistors to a certain working point. So one of the transistors gets a preset, and that's done by turning this potentiometer or this potentiometer. And that's very important, because in the original circuit it is not clear which uh, transistor will switch on when we switch on the power supply. So when we add voltage to the circuit, uh, theoretically it's not sure whether this transistor gets in conduction or this one. But when I use here the potentiometers, this one and this one, we can give uh, one of the two transistors a certain preset. So that we are sure when we connect the power supply here, uh, this LED will certainly switch on or this LED will certainly switch on. I want to demonstrate that now. Um, that's a little bit difficult at the moment because I've already uh, added this part of the circuit. So I cannot demonstrate it, but when you disconnect here, this part of the circuit, and uh, you turn this potentiometer or that potentiometer, you can certainly see uh, that you can put one transistor as the preferred transistor when the circuit is switched on. Here we have the same circuit. I've drawn it a little bit uh, different compared to this circuit, but in fact it's the same. Here from the collector uh, a DC voltage reaches the base here. And here, from this collector, via this wire, the DC voltage uh, reaches the base of this transistor. And due to um, difference in setting or difference in properties, one of them first gets into conduction when we add the voltage, the power supply. Here is the circuit in real. Now we can see by the green LED that this transistor here, this one, is in conduction and this transistor blocks in the collector lead because this LED is off and this LED is on. And um, you can use a switch here, but you can also here, uh, like it was shown in this circuit, here's a switch, but you can also uh, replace this switch by a transistor. And in that case, you get this situation, when you touch this transistor uh, by your finger, the circuit is switching. 
and when or when you touch this transistor by your finger, the circuit switches too. It switches back. Um, and after that, you have to break here the voltage supply to get to bring the flip flop to the uh, the start status, the start state. Perhaps it looks somewhat different, but it is not at all. Um, the application that I've made with the flip-flop, the memory cell, is that I made a light-sensitive switch. I connected here, instead of the switch, a transistor to that transistor, a solar cell. These are the properties from the solar cell, 2.4 volts and 10 milliampere. Uh, can also be 5 or 1 milliampere, doesn't matter much. And now we can uh, switch the flip flop when uh, the solar cell uh, gets light on its surface. And that's what I've made here. This is a solar cell. Now it's in the dark. And when the solar cell gets light, the flip flop. Um, switches to another state. And to bring it back you have to, to the original state where it was when it was switched on, you have to uh, break the power supply. I want to demonstrate that now. Now this lab is in conduction. I have switched the power to the circuit. I touch this transistor here with my finger this transistor now this LED is off and this LED switches on and the reason is that this cell the solar cell is in the dark and now I bring the solar, solar cell slowly into the light by moving this panel and we're going to see what happens the flip-flop uh, switches back to its original state. And it stays in that state, whether I move this or not, it is still in this state. I can move it here, but the green LED will be, uh, will be um, switched on. And that means that in fact it has a kind of memory, it is a sort of memory cell, uh, because uh, the flip-flop can remember uh, what has happened um, on this anode here. So, for instance, when you make this in another figuration, someone um, goes into a door, uh, light, uh, comes on the solar cell and after that the door is closed but the flip-flop uh, stays in the same position. So set back, I do it again with my finger here, hope it's visible. I touch it, now this one uh, lights, lights on the panel, switches off, goes back to the original state. With my finger again I bring the circuit back to the uh, original state and again the LED is on light on the panel switches off and the good thing from um, this circuit is that I've used here two potentiometers this one and this one so you can set the you can give the, the flip flop a preset so that you can be sure which uh, one which uh, from the LEDs uh, switches on. And also a good property here is that we have a voltage jump from approximately 10 volts. Um, here we have the circuit again, light, and we have here a voltage jump from 10 volts. I'll try to demonstrate that, but uh, I've measured it yesterday and perhaps I have showed here not the proper connection, 
So try for instance here and here, but I'm sure I've measured here on my uh, voltmeter a very big voltage jump when the uh, flip-flop switches from one state to another. So I think it's an interesting circuit. I've also tried here to connect the coil and move a magnet around that coil and in that case also the flip-flop switched. So that can also be an application. Here we have a very sensitive point with which you can activate the flip-flop, bring it back to a certain state and um, uh, the, the transistor here makes this circuit very sensitive. And you can also use here normal switches. And when you want to use a transistor here and want to use that as switch, connect here a button switch for instance, button switch and this via a resistor from say 50k, 100k to the positive lead. In that case you bring that transistor in conduction by adding a positive voltage. Uh, it's an NPN transistor so it acts on a positive voltage. Bring the transistor in conduction and your flip-flop uh, switches. I hope it was not a too long uh, explanation from such a simple circuit. But I think it is an interesting circuit to do uh, experiments with. So you don't need chips to make a flip-flop.